In this video, I'll show you how to protect your Google Analytics from getting hacked. And what do I mean by getting hacked? Well, anyone can just go to your site and grab your GA ID and start using it on their site. And this will mess up your data completely. Luckily, this is easy to prevent with GA filters. Arnie, how do you use filters? Talk to the hand. Tip sweat punch. So I've just discovered that somebody else is using my Google Analytics uh, GA code. And you can see it just by going to your pages report. For example, here I have on my homepage, the dashboard shows this. So if I go check it out, I have here this game slash something, and this is just not my URL. If I look at any other ones, I don't talk anything about games, anything like that. It's just not true. So somehow somebody's using my GA ID on their site, which makes no sense, but... Oh, by the way, whatever you do, don't go to the website that is using your GA code. It could be a way for them to try to get your attention and then when you're there, they're in, they will install some malware. And you'll start getting calls like this. I need some money. Immediately. Money? This is not a bank. I know. So let's look into that. Just click on the URL you think is not from you. And then you go to the second dimension. And then you type in hostname. And then you'll see that, okay, this is actually the site that is driving traffic now actually these people don't come to my site they just appear in my google analytics so what we're gonna do is we're gonna block this we're gonna filter them out so i'm gonna select this host name copy and then i'm gonna open up a new window in the admin and here i'm gonna just have a high level filter so i'm gonna click on all filters and i have a few here then i'm gonna add filter and when I exclude this site and click on custom, here you can type in host name. So you're choosing exclude this and then filter pattern, just add the site, the host name you just copied. And this is how they prevent hacks in Turkey. Don't copy my GA ID. Now, if you don't want to do this case by case, then you can just add the following. Instead of excluding this specific domain, you can instead say, include only your domain name. So in my case, that's punchsalad.com. So this just means it's gonna include only hostname punchsalad.com. But I actually like to keep an eye on these things, so I'll just exclude them case by case. And here you just select the sites you want uh, this to apply to. I only have two, so I'm going to choose those and click on add and then say. Now this should be excluding all traffic that is recorded on gamejolt.com. After a few days, I should not see any traffic from this site. Since you clearly care about your Google Analytics, did you know that uh, Google Analytics only collects 1% of page speed uh, for the reporting? You can easily change this by che checking out my video right here. If you have that covered already, then check out my favorite reports in GA. You can learn more about that in here. Whoosh!